Hello friends, welcome to another lecture of Make Mechanical Simple. Today we are going to discuss a simple topic from the subject of Mechanics of Machinery. See, from the subject of Mechanics of Machinery, Velocity Analysis is an important topic. Usually students find it difficult to do the Velocity Analysis. We can do Velocity Analysis by means of two methods. That is, one is instantaneous center method and second one is relative velocity method. A major portion of the instantaneous center method is to locate the in I center itself. So, today in this lecture, I am going to discuss how to locate instantaneous centers in a simple mechanism that is in a 4 bar mechanism. There are certain rules to locate instantaneous centers that is in a pivoted joint I have shown it here in a pivoted joint like this the pivot center itself will be instantaneous center and in a sliding pair like this the instantaneous center will lie at infinity in a direction perpendicular to the motion of the slider is that clear and third rule is in a pure rolling contact, the contact itself will be the instantaneous center. So these, using these rules, we can easily locate the primary instantaneous centers. That is, we can classify generally instantaneous centers into two. That is, primary instantaneous centers and secondary instantaneous centers. Primary instantaneous centers means we can easily locate these instantaneous centers by means of visual inspection itself okay by using these rules i'll explain once again in a pivoted joint the pivot center will be the instantaneous center and in a sliding pair like this uh, the instantaneous center will lie at infinity in a direction perpendicular to the motion of the slider and thirdly in a pure rolling contact or in a pure rolling pair the contact itself will be the instantaneous center now so so i'll explain how to locate instantaneous center in a four bar mechanism in a step by step manner first of all you have to draw the mechanism properly with the given geometry and dimensions okay then you have to Name the links as 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3 and 4. So, uh, I have given names to the mechanism, to the links as 1, 2, 3 and 4. Now, next step is we have to find the number of instantaneous centers in that particular mechanism. For that, we have an equation that is n is equal to n into n minus 1 divided by 2. I hope all of you know this equation so here small n representing the number of links in a particular mechanism and the capital n representing the number of i centers in that particular mechanism so in this particular example we have four links so if you substitute four here what will you get we will get capital n is equal to six okay so that means we have to locate a total of six instantaneous centers in this particular example okay so first of all we'll locate all the primary instantaneous centers i already told you that we can locate primary instantaneous centers by means of visual examination itself by using these given rules so the instantaneous center between one and two the link one and two that will be the pivot center that is I12 and similarly the instantaneous center between 2 and 3 that will be this point that is I23 and here the instantaneous center between link 3 and 4 will be I34 and here it will be I14 so we have already located all the primary instantaneous centers by visual inspection itself now Next step is to locate the secondary instantaneous centers. Now, to find the secondary instantaneous center, you have to mark as many as points as the number of links. 
that means here we have four links so you have to mark four points like this so if you have four points you can mark it as a corner of uh, a square so if you have six links then you have to mark it as a uh, corners of a hexagon okay now you can name this as like of our links one two three one two three and four next step is whatever i send this primary instantaneous senders we have already located that you have to join using solid lines that means we have already located uh instantaneous center one two we have already located two three and we have already located three four and one four okay so these are the already located primary instantaneous center next what are the remaining combinations to find out that is we have to find out i 1 3 and comma i 1 sorry i 2 4 so to locate i 1 3 what you have to do is you have to join 1 and 3 using a dotted line now this is the important step now 1 3 1 3 is a common side for two triangles can you see that 1 3 is a common side for two triangle that is triangle 1 2 3 and triangle 1 4 3 that means to locate instantaneous center 1 3 you have to extend the line joining 1 2 and 2 3 you have to extend the line joining 1 2 and 2 3 first that is can you see 1 2 and 2 3 here is a line right 1 2 and 2 3 there is a solid line so you have to extend this line first using dotted line okay so whatever extension you are doing do it as dotted line like this okay now what is another triangle as a common side as 1 3 that is 1 4 and 3 4 1 4 and 3 4 so that means you have to extend the line joining 1 4 and 3 4 so where is 1 4 and 3 4 here 1 4 and 3 4 so you have to extend this line so that you will get a meeting point you have to extend in such a manner so that you will get a meeting point between these two lines that means this intersecting point will be the instantaneous center I13. Is that clear? Very simple. Now, in the same way, we can locate I center 24. So, for that, what you have to do? You have to join instantaneous center 2 and 4 like this. Now, uh, you can see two triangles as the common side of 24. What are the triangles? That is 2, 3, 4 and 2, 1, 4. So 2, 3 and 3, 4 you have to extend. 2, 3 and 3, 4. The line joining 2, 3 and 3, 4 you have to extend. So where is 2, 3 and 3, 4? So 2, 3 and 3, 4. This is the line. So what you do? You have to extend this like this. Okay. So okay, that should be like this. Now uh, this is 2, 4. So we have already done this part. Now we have to do 1, 2 and 1, 4. This is another triangle. So 1, 2 and 1, 4 you have to extend. So where is 1, 2 and 1, 4? So these lines you have to extend like this. You have to do this using scales and pencils. Okay. So here also we have got a meeting point that means this is I24. Is that clear? So very simple, right? So this this portion is very important. How to locate the secondary instantaneous centers? Locating primary instantaneous centers is very simple. You can do it by visual ex examination itself. Okay. So I hope you understand this clearly. That is how to locate instantaneous center. So if you like this video, please subscribe my channel and click the bell icon for further updates. Thanks for watching.